The Magic of Thinking Big. If you haven't read this book, go out and do yourself a favor. Go out, buy it, download it. Um, it's been around since the late 80s, I believe. Um, I first read this book when I was, I'm going to say 15, 16. I've probably read it a thousand times since then. Um, and basically what it is, is, is it shows you that um, by believing in whatever you want to do, you can absolutely succeed. So it could be as simple as, um, um, I don't know, believing that you could, uh, that you could get over your fear of riding a bike and you can ride your bike. It could be, um, you know, giving over your fear of failure or that relationship or, um, or getting an ideal job or changing, changing jobs, whatever it may be. But what it shows you is that um, everything starts in your mind. So if you want to get over a failure or get over a fear, it's just in here. It's only, only what you believe. Um, so some, there's some really key points in this book that I go over. I, I think about it in my life all the time. Um, and uh, if you're not thinking and dreaming, dreaming about, uh, about what you actually want to do in your life, then, um, then it's, it's going to be not only pretty boring, but uh, really limiting um, what you can do. Um, so there's one piece in here that I always go back to. Um, and it's about turning how to turn defeat into victory, which is, uh, has been a pretty common denominator in my life. Um, and I'll, so let's go through a review here. So the difference, the difference between success and failure is found in one's attitude towards setbacks, handicaps, discouragements, and other disappointing situations. Um, five guideposts to help you turn defeat into victory are, number one, study setbacks to pave your way to success. When you lose, you learn. And then you go on to win next time. Um, and I often think about that with uh, things that have happened with my life. Um, sure, they hurt at the time. It really fucking sucks um, when shit like that happens. But I learn from it. I deal with it. And I make sure it doesn't happen again. Uh, number two, have the courage to be your own constructive critic. Uh, seek out your faults and weaknesses and then correct them. This makes you a professional. So be wary of your own faults and weaknesses and, uh, and fix them. Uh, so anyway, you're going to get better. Number three, stop blaming luck. Research each setback. Find out what went wrong. Remember, blaming luck never got anyone where they wanted to go, ever. Um, number four, blend persistence with experimentation. Stay with your goal, but don't beat your head against a stone wall. Try new approaches and experiment. If things aren't working, try something new. Um, surround yourself with positive people. Get yourself a mentor. Um, get yourself, uh, get your head right. Don't just keep um, flogging a dead horse, as they say. And number five, remember there is a good side in every situation. Find it, see the good side, and whip discouragement away. Um, so I hope that uh, sort of gives you an idea about what the book may be. Um, so if you haven't got it, go buy it. When I, th I think I was in my early 20s, I actually bought a bunch of these books. Actually, might have been in my early 30s as well. I might have bought 20 or 50 copies and uh, gave them away to a bunch of my friends and uh, they're probably still sitting in a bag somewhere, not read. Um, but that's actually how much I got out of this book and, um, and how much I really value it. Um, now, sometimes uh, a motivational video or a book or a self-help um, book, it may, not, it may not be for you at that point in time. And, um, and it's sort of like a, like a motivational video. You may um, watch the motivational video a thousand times, but... It may be the thousand and, a thousand and one times that, um, that is the time that you're most open to hearing what that message actually says is the time that it actually impacts you. Um, I've got friends of mine that I've um, sort of had conversations with for a very, very long time. And um, I've had those conversations, the same conversation, over <laughs> as frustrating as it is. Um, I'm going to say 20 odd years. Um, but until they're in the right mind frame or mindset to to really get value out of that conversation, they're never going to listen to the true core of that message. And, uh, and it's only been recent that a few of them, a few of those guys have uh, actually listened to the core message that's around that conversation and, uh, and got something out of it and gone, why haven't I listened to this earlier? Well, because you probably, your mind wasn't ready to, to deal with that right then. Um, but now you are and you're grasping it and, uh, and you're dealing with it and um and uh and seeing the rewards of uh making those those few changes but uh but unless you're absolutely ready to make those changes it's your, your mind isn't going to be open to them and the, and the world's not going to be ready for you so so don't be discouraged by um by doing that but keep taking small make small goals take small actions and uh, and you'll get there one day